The second video in this series will show you how to create a VAT return. After creating your business, you can create a VAT return for it. If your business is not registered for MTD, then click on Open VAT Return button. The window that opens will show you any returns that you have created and you can click on New VAT Period to make your first return. The next window will ask you for the period start and end dates. This needs to match the period that HMRC is expecting to be sent. Click on the Create button when you're happy with the dates. The return period has been created and this window will tell you about the period covered and the status, whether or not it's been filed yet. After you've made your first return, when you create the next one, TaxCalc will use your reporting period monthly, quarterly or annually to enter the expected dates for you. To open up your return, just select the relevant period in the Select Return window and click on Open. It's as simple as that, but for MTD returns, it's going to be a little different. Edit your returns and state that you've registered for MTD VAT. Now, when you open the VAT return window, you will still see a VAT returns that have already been created, but you will no longer be able to create your own. Instead, you'll have to ask HMRC for the next VAT period using their MTD service. Click on the Fetch VAT Periods button. Anything involving MTD requires you to authorize TaxCount to work with the HMRC systems. You should only need to authorize TaxCount for your business every 18 months, or if a new functionality becomes available that you want to use. If you need to authorize TaxCount, you'll see a window asking you to do so for MTD VAT. Click on the Authorize button to continue. The next screen takes you through HMRC's authorization process. Click Continue and you'll need to log in using your HMRC MTD account. Once logged in, you just need to confirm that you'll be granting your copy of TaxCount permission to view and submit your returns when you ask it to. In case you are concerned, this is only for your copy of TaxCount on the machine that you installed it on. Click on Grant Authority to confirm. That's TaxCalc authorized. Now click on the Fetch button to keep going. You need to enter the dates that you want to fetch VAT periods for. This can be the dates of your VAT return only or a period of your choosing. For demonstration purposes, we're going to enter the first six months of 2017. When we click on Search, we can see that there are two periods due the 1st of January to the 31st of March 2017, which has been fulfilled already. But there's also to the 1st of April to the 30th of June that's open. So HMRC hasn't received it yet. If we click on Fetch again, we can see that the return has been created ready for you to complete. There's also an MTD logo next to it so you can easily see the return that you have submitted under MTD and the returns you have submitted before you have registered. As before, if you select the period you've just created and click Open, it will open the return period ready for you to complete. The third video in this series explains how to use the Import Wizard.